up? Welcome back to another video, guys. If you're watching this video, it's because you are trying to decide what seat you want for your low rider us. And today I'm gonna give you the comparison of two great, amazing seats. We have my new LaPera kickflip that I just finished installing maybe two or three days ago on this bike. The seat is phenomenal. And right here we have my Saddleman step up seat, which is also another great, great seat. I've had this seat for, I'm gonna say maybe a year and change around there. Um, it has been great. I have a damn cricket in my garage. You, you guys hear that? <laughs> I, I cannot be making this shit up. Both seats feel great and they both are of high quality. Basically what I'm gonna do now is just go over the little details, compare them as far as look wise, and then we're gonna talk about comfort level and then I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys what it looked like on my bike sitting on each individual seat. Um, before we get into that, also let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am 5'7", I weigh around 168 pounds, so that's the type of body figure that you're gonna be looking at today. So if you're gonna compare seats, let's just say that in the looks department, I am going to prefer the Lepera over the Saddleman step up any day. It's just the, the clean lines of the stitching right here, just, it, it makes the seat really, really, really different. Uh, the basket weave on it and here as well. Something that you, you really don't see too much. Um, it's not as popular as let's say the diamond stitching you see on the Saddleman right here. And it's, it's just something very different, very nice. Not to say that diamond stitching on the Saddleman is not nice because I love this on here. Um, I have the diamond stitching on this and I also have the diamond stitching on the Lucky Dave seat that I have my 2021 uh, Road Glass Special. Um, but just the clean lines on the Lepera, uh, I love the stitch color here as well. Um, I'll say that the leather on the Lepera is a lot more smoother than the one on the Saddleman. The leather on the Saddleman more of a tougher texture. You get really feel the grains when you rub your finger against the leather. As opposed to the Lepera, it's more of a smoother leather, more of a lazy boy type of feel. You're also gonna notice that there's more of a curvature going up on the Lepera right here. Uh, as opposed to the Saturman, which is kind of more of a street walk. Uh, the step up seat kind of brings you up a bit forward compared to the Lepera as well. When I get on the bike uh, and I'll demonstrate how it looks on both seats, you'll see that. Um, so on the Lepera, you're, you feel a bit more planted. You feel like you're riding in the frame. You feel like you're more in the seat. Um, as opposed to the Saddleman, where you feel you, you kind of feel like you're more on top of the seat more than anything else. And once again, it just it does feel like it just pushes you a bit forward. Now, if you are going to be ordering any of these seats, just know that you are going to have the option with both companies to get the uh, stitching in different colors. You're able to go on each website and you're able to kind of design the seat the way you want it. If you want the diamond stitching, if you want the tuck and roll, if you want. Uh, just the back all nice and plain, like I have here on my apparel. If you want the diamond stitching to match on the passenger side, um, you can also add gel padding, which I also added gel padding to both of my seats. Uh, they both have gel padding for the passenger seat, and obviously the rider has it as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how I look on with the apparel right now. So like I said, like with this seat, you kind of feel like you're more into the frame. You're a bit more relaxed. Yeah, it, it just feels feels a bit more plush. And this being a new seat, it, it just I'm surprised that it doesn't feel as stiff as opposed to when I first got my saddle. Man, that thing felt like a brick. Um, and after putting around, uh, let me see, maybe five thousand miles on it, it kind of feels a bit more broken in. It does feel a bit stiff though. Um, and even though I put around five thousand miles in that seat, this seat, brand new, still feels a bit more plush, which is. A little crazy um like i said before i am 5'7 so this is what i look sitting on the bike i got eight inch risers on my uh, 2020 low rider s from san jose customs so if you are interested in these risers you can order them on san jose customs um i'll put the link all the links are down below um but you also get a promo code you can save 10 percent on that good quality stuff um and you get these matching well they have different color but right now they have gold 
anodized um, uh, ARP bolts on it, which I have right here as well. Um, but yeah, so the, the seat feels very, very good. Um, the gripping, the grip on the Lapero is very, very nice. It's not too, too sticky to the point where you're unable to move around. So yes, you are able to move a bit around. On the Saddleman, um, it doesn't have that much of a grip. Um, I think if you go with like, let's say like a San Diego Customs, which Jerry has on his street glide, um, the grip on that one is too, too much for me. Like I feel like on that seat, like I'm, I'm unable to move around. On this one, you have a grip, but you're able to just kind of like, you know, just kind of throw your butt around a little bit no more. So if you're gonna be hitting those canyons, you're able to just like, you know, just maneuver, move an inch or two over very easy as opposed to being stuck, planted down to your seat. So this is the Lapara kick flip feels real good now we're gonna go ahead and take this one off we're gonna put on the settlement all right so this is the settlement as you can see like i'm more i feel like i'm more pushed up with the settlement it's my leg up right here. Um, the Saddleman also does feel like it's a bit more wider right here. My legs do feel a bit more opened up, more stretched out. Still a really good seat. Like I really, really love my Saddleman seat. But um, I'm, I'm like completely in love with the Lapara now. But this is this is a good seat. I've been very happy since I got it. Uh, the seat ran me around uh, $550. Um, just because I added the extra gel padding in the back, some of the, the extra stitching in the back passenger seat as well. So for every little thing that you're gonna do is gonna vary depending on, on what you do, it's gonna change your price around. But it's a high quality, good seat. I would honestly recommend any of them. It'll all come down to choices. But like I said, the Lapara one, you kind of feels like you're more planted in, feels more. Um, this one doesn't have that much of a grip either because it's just like all leather around. So uh, the basket weave on there definitely gives you that grip that you're going to want. Um, but it's an amazing seat and Saddleman is such a popular, popular seat. Like every diner you look at is going to have a Saddleman to be honest. Either Saddleman or Lapara. That cricket is still going on back there. Alright guys, so I hope that this video was of help. Um, I hope I made your decision a bit more easier today. Um, like I said before, I'm happy with both seats. The Saddle Man is an amazing seat, but the Lapara to me is just, it's just a bit more, you just put a bit more of a quality up there, I could say. Now, if you're new to my channel, you want to see more content like this, go ahead and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's what I want to find you anytime I upload any type of new content, guys. Um, this is my 2020 Lowrider S. I also have a 2021 Roadblock Special. And then there's a 2019 Sporty 883 in the back right here, which we're working on all three bikes little by little, trying to get them looking to a certain type of bike, little by little. So, yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.